Hello everybody and welcome to an extreme. Today we're going to be unboxing an eBay Sega Genesis lot. Let's check it out. Everybody, welcome back we're gonna unbox a Sega Genesis eBay lot if you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below and we'll get into it okay everybody I just purchased this lot of Sega Genesis games off of eBay and I guarantee you there are no sports games in it so that's a good thing to start with so we take a look at the box here it's in a soft soap box and uh, it's uh, it's fragile so uh, it must be Italian uh. Fragile. It must be Italian. All right, so let's open it up. I haven't opened this yet. I know what's in it, obviously, because I bought it, but I haven't opened it yet. So let's cut this tape out. So hopefully everything looks like it did in the pictures anyways. It's a Sega Genesis lot. Every single one of the games in here comes with a box, which is always positive, because uh, there's nothing worse than loose Sega Genesis games. So let's open this up here. Oh, there's another tape in there. Pop it open. Okay, hopefully I don't need this knife anymore. Okay, open that up. Lots of wrapping. Everything's wrapped. This guy did an excellent job wrapping this up. The top is covered in paper. Everything is sealed and bubble wrapped in there with paper lining the edges of the box. So this fellow who I bought this off of did an amazing job packaging this. I couldn't be happier. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to get the knife out to cut this open. This way I can pull them out one at a time and surprise you. Okay, pop it open. Tear it open, okay. So we'll start one at a time. Pull one out at a time. Okay, first things first, I still cannot see with this open what games are what yet. So we're going to pull them out one at a time and we're going to see them as we pull them out. Okay, first one's first. Slide this guy out here. Okay, this guy's got a little bit of tape on the outside of the box, so I don't like the sign of that. Ooh, this one's in rough shape, this, uh, this box. I didn't realize that it was going to look this bad. Ooh, this guy packed this too well. Okay, first things first. The first one we got here is Tasmania on the Sega Genesis. This is the perfect first one to pull out because this is the only one of the, out of this lot that I had, but I only had it loose, so this works out perfect. Here it is. The looks like it's a little bit damaged on the box here. Some of the plastic is coming off, as you can see there. It looks like they taped the edge of it, so this must all be coming off. I don't want to pull that tape off. Open it up. It's the game and it's got the manual. So this one is complete in box where my previous one of this uh, was only the game loose. So this is a big upgrade for me. Um, to be honest, I already traded in that uh, that other one that I got. So this is pretty good. Tasmania is a uh, side-scroller platformer uh, and you play as Taz. So it's a pretty good game. This is uh, this is one of those uh, games that uh, I think a lot of people remember from the Sega Genesis. All right, let's pull out the next one. Next up, we have Bram Stoker's Dracula. Now, this one here is made of the movie from the, uh, I believe it was from the early 90s, starring Keanu Reeves. I know where the bastard sleeps. And uh, this is when, before Keanu Reeves knew how to act, so he was, uh, when does this take place? 1700s, 1600s, whatever it is, when Dracula took place. Yeah, Keanu is, uh, he's still a surfer dude in this movie, so he's very out of place in the movie for this game. Uh, this game looks like it is complete in box, so you got the manual and the game, which is awesome. I do not have this game. Um, like I said, the only game I had out of, that, out of this lot was that Taz game. And this is a cool, it's a very interesting game, it's kind of like a Castlevania almost. Um, but you play as Keanu. Really, really cool. Uh, check this one out. Graphics are good. Uh, gameplay's good. There's a lot of like finding items and doing stuff like that in this. Uh, some puzzle solving. It's a good, good game. Check it out. I've seen many strange things already. Bloody wolves chasing me through some blue inferno. Next out of the box, we have Arrow the Acrobat. 
Yes, I have Arrow the Acrobat here. This uh, this case is in pretty good shape. The hang tag's missing, but it's not too bad. Open it up. Okay, this one is missing the manual, but not a huge deal for me for the Sega Genesis games. The more important thing is to get the box. That's the most important thing with the Sega Genesis game, because there's nothing worse than a Sega Genesis game without uh, without the box. Now, this game came out at a time when everybody was trying to make um, animal mascot platformers to try and get some of that Sonic the Hedgehog success. Um, this one is probably one of the better ones, Arrow the Acrobat. It is uh, significantly better than Bubsy, and it's uh, way, way better than... Uh, what was that other one? The one that was the environmental one. I forget now. Awesome Possum. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that environmental one, Awesome Possum, which is probably the worst out of all of them. Yeah, this one's pretty good. You play as a bat who is a acrobat, and uh, you're going through the circus and stuff. It's a pretty good platformer. This one's a good one to check out. Okay, next up in the box, we have X-Mutants. So this one is here is from a comic book company, I believe it's called Malibu Comics, uh, it's based off of, and it's uh, kind of like an X-Men ripoff, obviously it was called X-Mutants, um, but it's a pretty good game, it's a side-scroller game, um, I don't know what to compare it to, but it's uh, it's a plat It's not really a platformer, it's a side-scroller game, but you go up and down through the levels, not just left to right. Um, so it's a pretty good game to check out. Uh, you can place two characters in this, I believe, even though it shows like six on the front. I believe you can only, uh, two or three characters. I think only two you can play. I'm gonna have to check this out later and, uh, confirm that. But, uh, yeah, it's a cool game, check it out. This one here is, does not have the manual, so this is only, uh, only the game. But it is a Sega Genesis uh, black box game, so it's one of the earlier ones for sure. Okay, next up is probably, in my opinion, one of the funnest games in this box, and that is Marble Madness. This is Marble Madness. It's a level-based, uh, asymmetric view puzzle game where you have to essentially roll a marble through the courses to the uh, bottom of the course. Uh, there's different obstacles in the way, and this game is surprisingly a lot, a lot of fun. I would check it out if you could. Um, it's not an expensive game, but it's a, it's a certainly a very fun game. Made by Electronic Arts. This one does have the manual, so it is complete in box, and the label is mint, so this thing is probably barely ever played. It's a good one, check it out. When you're ready for a real challenge, you're ready for Marble Madness. There are deadly steelies, marble munchers, acid pools, digital waves, vacuum cleaners, catapults, pistons, pounding hammers, killer birds, and they're all after you. Do you have what it takes to reach the silly maze where everything's upside down, or the ultimate maze where even the maze moves? Do you have what it takes, or will Marble Madness make you lose your marbles? Marble Madness! Okay, two left in the box. The next one up is dun, 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 Mighty Max. So this is Mighty Max, let's open it up. Okay, this one does have the manual, so this one is complete in box. Um, for those of you who don't remember Mighty Max, it was a toy slash cartoon in the 90s where you played as uh, Maximilian, I believe. Uh, this game is a cool side-scroller. I used to love the cartoon as a kid, and these were essentially, the toys for this were essentially the male version of Polly Pocket. So there's these little, little scenarios where you come get the little tiny figures and you would open it up. Will Max get fried? His fate is in your hands. Mighty Max, Mighty Max! You can collect all his adventure sets, each sold separately. Mighty Max figure included, from Mattel. This cover is a little bit blurry, so I didn't do, do a great job on it. Yeah, this is a, a good find. I was really excited to see this one in there, just for the, the nostalgia sake. The game is eh, but uh, the nostalgia on this is uh, is pretty high for me. And the last one in the Sega Genesis eBay lot is a game. Uh, the game's not that good. That being said, for me, it's a big deal. And, 
Anybody who knows me knows that uh, I love the movie franchise that this game is based off of, and this game is RoboCop 3. Now anybody who knows me knows how much I love RoboCop, love that movie, and my top 10 favorite movies of all time for sure. Um, absolutely love that movie. Obviously RoboCop 3, not that great, couldn't get Peter Waller back. Uh, and just as like, the game isn't that great either. That being said, it's okay, it's not great. So it's a uh, side-scroller shooter. Um, they try to take some similar mechanics uh, from Robocop vs. The Terminator, but they don't execute it well. Um, it's a shooter kind of like Contra, but slow, and you have limited ammunition. So then, uh, then uh, yeah, when you run out of ammo, you pretty much you can punch, but the game isn't really designed for uh, for close quarters combat. So when you run out of ammo, you're kind of in a hot spot until you can find some more. So game isn't that great. That being said, the cover art is pretty awesome. Open it up. Okay, so it does not have the manual uh, and the label isn't in the best shape it's a little bit dirty the label looks like it's got a little bit of water damage on it but it's flat nothing's rippling so that's pretty good anyways okay everybody so that was my unboxing of seven games from an ebay uh, Sega Genesis lot. If you like what you saw, hit like. If you dislike what you saw, hit dislike. Don't forget to leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. Keep an eye out for those eBay lots and uh, you can build your collection pretty quickly that way. We'll see you later.